Sheesh. Three <laughs> words to describe Les Mills recruiting. Energetic, fun, and engaging. Jim. Inspirational, magical and positive. Jack. Inspirational as well, which I get from me. Confidence boosting, that's one word. And mind blowing as well. Yeah. Refreshing, epic, and delicious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Growth and motivating. We're going to be here to chat about Lesmos Recruit, uh, Lesmos Live, and just your journeys as instructors. My name's Rick. I'm going to host this for us today. Um, so in the room, we've got... Hi, I'm Jade. I'm Jenna. I'm Terrell. Newton. Jared. And like I said, I am going to host today. So what we'll do now is kind of what's been your experiences of... Les Mills recruit to this point. You can have more than three words for this one. <laughs> so I'll let you go first. Definitely starting off, I feel like it sent my ability as an instructor through the roof and you learn so many new things just along the journey from that first submission and getting that grade and then you suddenly see, oh my God, I can do this and I can do that and you can add so much depth to your teaching and that's what I feel like it's just made you a much more fantastic instructor. And you're seeing that like in your everyday classes? Yes, yeah. in classes as well, especially the connection with people. And mm -hmm. they're like, take a look at people and see what's going on and understand them a little bit better. And that sort of has brought my own classes at home to a new level as well. Who was doing your grade with this? Uh, my grade with I don't know. Doing grade with <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's sort of tapping, uh, having the tools to be able to tap into those um, moments where we can be celebrated that we're all different and then being um, being told that you know what you can be your utmost authentic self and transverse that into classes and being away from the audition and then being in this Les Mills recruit journey I really have tapped into that and been able to express that into my classes and I love it. <laughs> so and it's body attack that you're doing? Yeah yeah, yeah. and hip body attack yeah. Fantastic. Cheers. So one of the words I used was mind-blowing, and I meant that in like a really good way, because literally, <laughs> from the start of the process, my mind has just been blown with all the information that we've been given along the way. And like I think everybody's mentioned the word journey, because that's like the big thing, it really has been a journey so far, and it's been continuous learning and continuous development, which has been so awesome so it actually it doesn't matter where this process takes us because everybody here and we've seen it um has come so far from the start of the process to where we are now and like you say learning all of all of the all of the points having all that knowledge and being able to apply it in our classes each week each day and um, and to have continuous things to work on. It's just been an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, you know, for me as well, it's been such a great connection to come and meet all these other wonderful instructors, and it's been so inspirational. And um, I always leave each day, the addition day, I was buzzing for weeks after that, you know, you were on a high, right? Yeah. Anybody yeah. else feel the same? Absolutely, yeah. 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 For and sure. it will be the same after this recruit weekend as well, this boot camp. Um, it's like so. Yeah, I, I second you heard. I think the connection is one of the most important thing, and it offers me an opportunity to, to go around the UK and to mm -hmm. see so many talented presenters or instructors around the country. And how do they teach? And whether they're doing a fabulous job and still their wisdom, <laughs> or they're doing not so fabulous one, but the way they teach is the truth. Yeah. And I think the second thing uh, throughout this process is to really let me to stop right there, hold on, and being forced to have that kind of opportunity to look at who I am in the yeah. video, listen to myself, script things down, look at it again, do it again, and really, really, you know, give the opportunity that really set me out of my comfort zone and really, really develop and grow as an individual. So I've asked the different coaches and, and presenters on the team during, during this whole process, what is the best advice you can give? And everybody in unison will tell me, <laughs> and would have told, told everybody, is that be you. So that yeah. celebration, that unique, uh, uniqueness is really something that, you know, um, it equipped me with more confidence. Yeah. I would have said coffee. 
that's the best thing you need to know about this process. Oh, it's just more coffee. 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 Co when we first, you know, saw that sort of poster, oh, Les Mills recruit, you think, oh, exciting, and then, oh, scary, like, mm. can I do this? And I just have to say the whole process has actually been, the, the worst part for me has been the, the preparations, that's been the scary part, have I done enough? Am I mm. ready for this boot camp day or the audition day? And then see when we actually get in here and we get in the room, and it's like, oh my God, look at all these lovely people. The way that it's been set up has just been so... It's like, it's like what we want to do for our participants. We want them all to feel relaxed so that they can do their best. And that's what this process has allowed us to do. So we've been able to shine the best version of ourselves because that's the environment that the recruit process has created for us. Yeah. I think, just to pull out a couple of things that people were saying just about the journey, um, you learn about things about yourself that you can bring into other areas of your life. And then just that last thing that you said, Jenna, just about you tell yourself a lot of stories, but when... Yeah you get there and you see things fall into place and you see other people. Yeah. Um, what has, if you were to like talk to yourself six months ago, mm -hmm. what would you say? About Les Mills Recruit. Don't overthink it. Like, I don't know, you, we put a lot of, or I don't know if you relate, but you put a lot of stress and pressure on yourself sometimes. You don't perform your best when you're under that pressure. So just, you know, sometimes I've needed a little reminder you know, and um, to say, look, calm down. You know, just give that a rest. You know, you're going to go and do what you what you got to do. Just don't panic. No stress. Just be there. Yes. Trust the process. It's definitely a big one. You go, oh, stage one, stage two. How's it going? This, that. You don't know where you're going to go with it. Trust the process. Stick with it and see what what changes in your teaching and everything like that. Just to dive in and see what what you can learn from it. You know, not to be scared by it. I think also sometimes there's the fear comes from the fear of the unknown. So see when we got those um, emails with the information to say this is what you need to prepare and this is this is the agenda for the day. Then you're like, okay, cool, I can totally handle all of that. But see when you when you're unsure, you're thinking, what's it going to involve? What am I going to have to do? Like, oh my god, am I going to be able to handle it all? And then you get it and you're like, oh, that's totally fine. I can totally achieve this. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully, this is an interesting question because. The Les Mills recruit process is brand new, okay. and what it looks like in 2022 is far and away different to what it's ever looked like before. And then yeah. chances are, if and when it's done again, it will look slightly different based yeah. on just the, the feedback and everything that's happened during this. I said it was a six month process, I don't know, just <laughs> pick my number. Um, so do, what has the process been? What has been the steps for you guys? Um, well, the first thing um, is I was in Primark. Primark, we call it. Oh yeah, Primark. Okay. Do you know what? God, I'm from the somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I was, I was actually in the queue, and my phone buzzed, and it was an email, and it was saying like, you can do your grade, but you can submit it for yeah. Lesbos recruit, and I was like, so was like, open wow. invitation for yeah. anyone to apply. Yeah, that was really yeah. nice. Yeah, that was yeah. the first big stage, mm -hmm. and then um, it was um, submitting that. Grade with you, and then um, how many times did you fail before you sent the first one? Mm. Good question. We had one chance. Second one, yeah, good. I was yeah. waiting for oh, someone oh, to say like done seven, eight, no, nine. nine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Yeah. so you sent that in. You get your grade review mm -hmm. feedback. Yeah. Then what happened? Then it was an education video. Okay. We had stage two. Stage two. So I think it was ten minutes. Maybe five minutes to say a little bit about you. Okay, so what was the edu what did you do your education on? I did mine on different learning styles. I did tripos. This whole process has been built around authenticity and my education oh, is authenticity. Wow. So I was a bit like, great, you've heard this so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna remind you all again. <laughs> well, surprisingly I taught Mandarin Chinese. Wow. <laughs> oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, wow. I'm going to watch the video to find out. <laughs> yeah. The science behind the classes, like what goes on behind the scenes that makes you work harder and stuff like that. Cool. Cool. Nice, nice for adding that. So, uh, so you did that video, you did the 10 minutes about yourself. Mm -hmm. I assume you got feedback on that yes, in some yes. way, shape, or form. Then what happened? Invited to audition. Yes. So, where all yes. did you do auditions? Uh, well, London. 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 Oh, and we went to Burnley. Burnley. Mm -hmm. Burnley. And where else were Burn auditions Burnley. done? Burnley. <laughs> Burnley. <laughs> here, also Solihill. Here. And so, they were the three. So what else was everybody else? <laughs> um, Kurt, so you did auditions, then what happened? Um, we Stress, waiting for yeah. Lindsay and Jeff Stress. to come. <laughs> <laughs> Stress, anxiety, nervousness, and fear. I think the group chat was going off more in yeah. those days after the audition, waiting uh -huh. to hear than it had been like the rest of the process. Everyone was like, yeah. phone calls, phone calls, and it was so awful. <laughs> I think people might have a, a real interest of what was the audition Day like itself, like to just turn up, teach, and then go home and just wait for that no, call. Or? No, no, it was, no, no it was a long. It was a long day. <laughs> my back and my quads <laughs> were so sore. Like, because I, I travelled up with them, some of the other guys, and mm. we got, had to get a train back. I we just sat there on the train, like I am knackered. Because when you've got all these people, well, all these all these instructors presenting one track. That is sort of discombobulated. <laughs> and it's like you're doing like a peak track, then you do like a power track, and you do like like uh, then you do balance, then you do combat on repeat mm -hmm. two times. The squat tracks we did news, and oh my god. Yeah, yeah after it's that a day. squat track every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, after it that day, I did that feet in my smaller size of clothing. Yeah. So <laughs> do it, do it, just freak it out. <laughs> it was a challenge. I couldn't drive home, luckily, I had a chauffeur. Yeah. To drive myself because I was on the bike for the first time in oh my goodness a good three years or something and I my legs were gone. Yeah, oh, but wait, the whole like edition day it was a big day and we did two presentations so there was the morning and I think it took between two and three hours I think for every instructor to get through their their yeah. track in the morning and then we had lunch and then again another presentation in the afternoon and. Morning and afternoon some education as well. It was a big day, right? Yeah, and it was the first time I ever did triceps quite slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so you went from auditions and you got the, the call. The yeah. call. The yeah. call. Yeah. And then you were invited. What happened next? Was it straight to here? Yes. Well, yeah. not yeah, quite because. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm at work. Made it through to what? <laughs> <laughs> so we're in that process. I know this because I've done quite a few great reviews for people, mm -hmm. just so you both know, mm -hmm. yes, okay. it's, you've had the opportunity to submit extra yes. and extra great reviews. Yeah. What if you compared your latest video to the very first video you sent in for auditions? It's like night and day. Yeah. yeah, yeah what yes. what would be the biggest differences? Mine is um, really honing in to just being I've said it earlier, but being myself, because yeah. I always feel like I'm a bit, I'm a bit perfectionist. I'll be honest. <laughs> Dance and gymnastics background, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, being like on point, gotta be in the essence. But then it's about me delivering that, and that's it's about it's about what I can bring, and I get I dance, I rap. I spit lyrics even more. <laughs> I bust a mix. Yeah, I do everything, and it's like, and it's so nice to see, and everyone responds well, and uh, go, and voices. But oh, we're it was so yeah. What what other changes would you I'd say? Uh, there's that depth to it. At the beginning, it was very shallow surface level teaching. Definitely. It was just like on the surface. But now, what can you? into that to make it a better class for people and that's that connection that's that motivation that's that vocal contrast and stuff like that that you pick up from this process here that's why the contrast is a big one for me having those vocal highs and lows of vocal variety like you say as well as maybe connection wise I think before I had in my classes already you know the sort of connection to the room you know the general sort of connections but now it's much more personal and much more intense, intentional. And I think from the beginning, it's like everyone, I maybe not everyone, for me it was a lots of self-doubt. I think, oh, do I deserve this opportunity? 
if I do deserve this opportunity, I'm gonna bring my best. So I have to rely on the master video to really sort of copying what the presenters have done. And then after the affirmation, uh, throughout the process of like, meeting the instructors face to face, and then I have the opportunity to tell myself, okay, you can be yourself a little bit more resonating with the role as well, and also can internalize the choreography a little bit more, have a little bit of an understanding or even more understanding of where's the peak, where's the low, and what the track focuses on. It's been an amazing process. We've gone through self reviews and grade reviews and such like, and I know that it is hard for a lot of people to watch those videos back, and I understand now how much benefit we can get to that. But see, going back to like the first video, I think I would be just absolutely so embarrassed to look back at that and think, oh my God, that's what I thought was like, you know, the best teaching I could mm -hmm. achieve. But you know, we've, we've come so far and, and then today, we have these, um, after we do our presentations, we get the opportunity to, to chat with a coach outside and do some sort of feedback and self-reviewing and such like in a way. And I'm now able to have so much more um, better conversations because and that was a realization for me that oh my god look how much I've learned because the first time around I, th I think we were talking outside the room and I was flailing around for answers in my head thinking <laughs> I don't know what they want me to say and now I'm like no I actually know what my focuses are now right. and I, because we've taken that journey the workbooks that we've been provided with the grade reviews all of the feedback it some Sometimes I think it's not that I didn't know the answers to the questions, I just needed to be asked the questions so that I could so find now, those answers. Now we've got the terminology yeah. to have those conversations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's my 100%. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think as well, like, it's it's this idea that, yeah, when we review ourselves, we think about what could we have done better or what what's what's within, is that we wouldn't be in this position if we, if we didn't work for, for this for this moment, do you know what I mean? So, say that, oh, like, tell me what I did wrong. It's like, no, 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 like, we know you're a good instructor. Like, you you, you are here because you are good, you love your program, and you, you deliver it well. Now, how can you make that even more your class, your program? You know? The real feeling I get from it is that Les Mills has obviously the best training programs in place. So effectively you could take you could take through your training modules, you could train anybody up. So what you know we're trying to show you is why should it be me? Like what can I bring to the table to make you choose, you know, the us in the process. Music word association game. So the drill is there will be a subject, you will say a word, no word. Goose, and then you have to say a word which starts with the last letter of this word. Oh, no. so. you have to do what a good e. epic, epic. You have to say something to see. Um, <laughs> any word <laughs> you think <laughs> of cat, cat, train, number. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's hard, it's hard. Right. So when the music's playing, you just have to dance and be really, really cool. Ooh, you'll, you'll, okay. Do you want help to be cool? Then when the music stops, I'll point to you and you'll know when to go. Okay. Um, um, so the subject is say a word. Bananas. Oh. Banana. Apple. It's all food, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> That's not food. Take rope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Energy. Perfect, yeah, give yourselves a round of applause. Woo! Are you ready? You're going to lead us off. You have to say a five letter word. Okay? So it doesn't have to start and end with the same letter, it's just a five letter word. Are we all doing five letters? Yeah. Three, two, one. Think. I don't know. <laughs> 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 you come back at <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Water. What? Ooh. Robot. We <laughs> Four letter words. Four. Oh, oh, clever. Jump. You're so happy. <laughs> 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 uh, face. Cook. Mm. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Rope. Rope. Yeah. Cool. So oh, now, I <laughs> we want to give us a word related to Les Mills recruits. Any word you want. Okay. okay. Improvement. Fabulicity. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Contact. Let's do it. Like this. Awesome, as I said, that was just a little bit of fun. Um, so thinking about <laughs> Les Mills recruits, so the, the goal is, and rightly so, the goal is do a Les Mills recruit, become a Les Mills trainer, become a Les Mills presenter, and the byproduct of that is actually the most important thing, is that our regular classes actually get a better experience because we've, we've all been through the, the training and, and the product. Um, but obviously, as I said, rightly so, the goal is to be the Les Mills presenter and it is to be on the big stage, the, the cameras, the lights, etc, etc. So talking of live events, Les Mills Live London filming is obviously coming up. <laughs> what I would love to know, just like an open discussion, what's your experience of live events? Any, whether it's the big scale, all singing, all dancing ones, or whether it's like the smaller, intimate ones. So, whoever wants to open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you don't get the tickets quick enough, it's <laughs> going to be sold out. <laughs> <laughs> That's my line. Sorry. So, you were saying before you've done a Les Mills Live before? Oh, I did. And actually, oh. that was the first big kind of sports event I've been involved in London. Oh, my goodness. Again, using that word, I was an epic. Yeah. So, what when you what did you do there? What programs did you do? How experienced were you as a as an instructor and Les Mills and that? Yeah, I was like we were given a bracelet, different bracelet in different colors, didn't yeah. we? And uh, we were allowed yeah. to go to different kind of rooms and to experience different programs. So basically, I was trying to get into as many as possible, including Shabam and Jen. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so a can of worms doesn't get open that Les Mills Live London, it won't be like that with mm -hmm. the bracelet and you just go in the room. So at a oh. typical Les Mills Live, mm -hmm. that is encouraged. In fact, not only is it allowed, it's encouraged. We want mm -hmm. to get the rooms back. But the difference with this one yeah. is there will be equipment and cameras, which costs a lot more than we can afford if we have an extra hundred people running in. Yeah, so we yeah. can do it. So just anyone watching, anyone think that that's going to happen? Yeah. yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing that side of it. Yeah. yeah. The filming side of things. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be so yeah. interesting. It's going to be like, we yeah. only ever see the masterclass videos, so uh -huh. to see the other side of it of actually what happens behind the scenes and such like. Yeah. That's going to be really cool. Yeah. So just a quick snapshot of like what it'll be like is the um, everyone will be brought into the room. And then, so we can say everybody, all the participants, so instructors, mm -hmm. participants, trainers on, on the floor, find your space, have a bit of chat, crack with everyone. And then likelihood is one of the MCs will come on the stage and introduce the session. We'll give you a quick set of rules of about anything specific with that. For example, body pump would be different to body attack, for example, yeah. thinking of where the bars and plates need to go, where the running track is going to operate with like a thousand people in the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then they'll <laughs> introduce the tra the presenting teams for that session in stages. So they maybe say, here are your UK representatives, here are the European representatives, and the American representatives, and so on. And then it'll be, from a filming process, it'll be, they try and do it push, pay, and go. Okay. But just with the logistics of getting people up and down off the stage, and if there's anything they need to cut and do the in for whatever reason, like it does happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was having, a, yeah, like I was having a conversation with an instructor yesterday about it, and they were saying like, why is you know two and a half hours allowed for body pump? Yeah. 
Because yeah. <laughs> you might need to do traps more than once. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How many times we're prepared we for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We're well prepped. Yeah, we're prepared. <laughs> yeah. So I was just a bit of a tangent. Um, live events. What's people's experience of? So we events? haven't been to many live events. Uh -huh. um, before we trained our lives when I was during lockdown. And so obviously it was just all online to start with. Which was amazing yeah. that we could do that mm -hmm. whilst the world was in lockdown. We had those opportunities, but it also felt really odd um, because we'd really been in our living room doing <laughs> body attack. <and laughs> then to be in a live event was just literally electric. So we've only been to two road shows yeah. so far, mm -hmm. and then the audition day, now we're here at the boot camp. So mm -hmm. I guess we're maybe a little wimpy in comparison yeah. to some other people. and. Super looking forward to Lesbos Live London because it's going to be on a different scale. Um, and I saw some of the social media stuff from the recent ones in New Orleans and stuff. And see, to be honest, I was we were so excited, weren't we? I was like, Jenny Jack, I was like, look at this, you know, come see this story or whatever it was. And we got so excited, and that was just through my phone. So I can't yeah. even imagine what the atmosphere is going to be like when we're there. Yeah, it's annoyed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yourselves, live uh, events? I've never actually been to a Lesnar's live. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to uh, one road show, and that was up in London. And that was really, really good. It, it was such a nice community and space. But I kind of get my own Lesnar live when I teach my classes, when track eight drops in the tank, <laughs> and the power attack, when the lights go off, the flashy lights go on, and I think I'm on stage. Um, I used to travel a lot with my, um, my job. And um, I've sort of jumped into a lot of other people's classes internationally, so That's Cyprus, so cool. and Spain, yeah. and America, and it's a really good opportunity to feel that that same essence of excitement, which mm -hmm. I'll probably feel at that lunch. I've been to so many different people, and it's all about the energy and the program. Can I just add on to what you just said? Don't you just love the feeling that when you can be in one place with a shared passion love to do something know, yeah. the same oh, in like the same that. way yeah. Yeah. it's just a huge celebration it's, see last it's night here, yeah. when we we met before this boot camp because lots of us are staying together and we met for like a little catch up and stuff and do you know what was just so nice about it was it it was like 8 30 and so like, yeah we're going to bed now because like we've got a big day and everybody understands because we all have that shared passion mm -hmm. and then it's like you know in your other friendship groups you maybe don't always have that same understanding no come out with that stay out come do this and you're like no, really, I'm teaching at 6 a.m. I'm just like, I'm just like, hang out. Yeah, but this is a place where literally everybody understands. It's like amazing. He came round to the tea, he says, one glass of wine for him, one glass of wine for him, the lady comes down and says, I say, no. no. I was trying to it's be great. It's nice great. last night. So I got the bottle from Mel back and I was like, there are 20 people there. I can definitely can easily consume that. So like, there's a glass, there's a glass, there's a glass and they all no, called me Sabbath Patrick. <laughs> like, Seriously, then I have to drink it all or sleep. So. And, all fun. Yeah. and then uh, just Bring them back to live events. What, what were you saying you've done Twickenham before? Twickenham Stadium. Yeah. That was all the, oh, in Twickenham. I don't know if it's Twickenham Stadium, but that was, was just before Stadium, yeah. the big pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. And that was my first live event at, earlier today with um, the music that we picked for our like sort of theme tune for boot camp and everything. I put Reserve on. One of my mm -hmm. iconic memories is actually in that stadium. Jordan was teaching. You know Jordan? Jordan McCulloch. So he was at the top, and I'll be here when it comes out. The music was raving, it was so good. It was like there was so much going on, so many people to see. It was like, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. So, with Lesbos Life, for those who are you know, definitely going to it and you know, got, got your tickets and all that, are you bringing anyone else, going with other instructors, going with other participants? Other yeah. And we know there's a lot of other participants um, yeah. from Mayan and Southwest, Fantastic, UK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're coming up. Yeah. And See, to be honest, have... we kind of booked our tickets and it was just us going, um, if that makes sense. And at that time, we hadn't really met anybody else yeah. in the Lesmos world. And so I guess we kind of thought it was just going to be us. But see, now I'm thinking, like, oh, Lesmos Life, like, we're going to meet everybody. We're going to know some people. We're going to know some people. Know people. Know. <laughs> that helps me go friends. off on a, a <laughs> tangent because it was about to, when you were chatting about how you were teaching in other countries. I mean, yeah. that's a great thing about being. 
just yeah. like a group fitness instructor with a Les Mills certificate. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. go and teach in another country. If you're on holiday, you can, you know, locate the nearest Les Mills club, you can go and teach classes. Because okay. um, yeah. it opens up that community, which is what we're just kind of touching on, is that you just get all these like new friends who you That's know so nothing about. And like you might not sure. agree with anything that they do with their life. Oh, but they do Les Mills. So, Have yeah, they, they must be all right. Yeah, I can talk yeah. to them about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do a 10 hour car trip to them in London. Yeah. That gives you a start in conversation. Yeah, that absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Sorry. No, go I was going to say, when I do module training, I'm going to do the section about the Les Mills value. And it's one United. That's what I say. It's like when you see someone in an airport with. Uh -huh. Like Reebok trainers on, you're yeah. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. It's weird, isn't it? She's with us. I can probably talk to you. Yeah. I went to a random village in Spain, and there was just I could hear. I think we were walking past. We could hear the music. It was like, that latest release going on. Love it. Teaching it in Spanish. I was like, oh my god, Girl. get in here, join in. It was just. A, it was. Um, I don't know. It was near Alicante, just a random oh, yeah. village in Spain. And we were like, oh my god, they teach it here, I can't believe it. And then that was our sort of go go to place for the rest of the holiday. We went to classes there. Fantastic. I love that. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. I've got a story mm. about Alicante. Oh. So the last <laughs> London line I brought my friend to to attend events. So we were in the middle of what was body attack and so we were coming back. So he had a crack. So as you can imagine there were about two, three hundred people at least in London Excel. And he had a cramp. He wouldn't leave. <laughs> he wouldn't leave. He's just lying down there like that. He, he's just loving it and enjoying the moment. <laughs> good job. That that that, that time that there was no filming. I think there was no filming. <laughs> so, yeah, he survived that. And well, now he's not invited by. Oh. He's doing his body pump in Alicante now. Um, he's in Spain right now. Yeah. So guys, what we'll do now, we'll wrap it up. Um, you are halfway through your boot camp weekend, so mm -hmm. what's the plan for tonight and tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. I'm not having another box of wine. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a bottle. <laughs> okay. um, just to, um, so we've got to deliver education tomorrow, so I'm going to prepare and go over that. Um, go over my second programme that I'll be um, doing boot camp for. And um and yeah, just sort of resetting, breathing, chilling, get some good foods. I've done the preparations, so tonight is about refilling my cup, maybe take a bath, take a walk, re energize, reset, <laughs> bring in tomorrow, bring the best me. And try and get the air from the oh, yeah. to work. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, no. Um, no, catch some sleep. Just like refuel and probably just take a quick look over my track for tomorrow in education and just make sure we've got everything good and ready to go. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining me. This is the Lane Mills Live Time Series. <laughs>